And that's our homemade tomato juice. Let's give it a try. Wow, that is the best tomato juice I've ever had in my life. When you make your own tomato juice, you can add the amount of salt that you want, the spices that you want. This is really good. Wow. Well, the garden's been producing lots of tomatoes this year. Let's make tomato juice. This all goes into the compost. Let's weigh our tomatoes. That's in pounds, it's fine. Zero that out and see what we've got. Three pounds. I'm gonna chop up uh, oh, maybe about two cups of celery. And one cup of onion, roughly chopped. Add this all to a stock pot. One cup of water. We'll bring this to a boil. Now the pots begin to boil, so we're going to cover that now. And we'll turn it back to a medium low and we'll let that simmer for about a half an hour. Well, it's been uh, simmering for half an hour. Let's see if it's soft enough to process. Yes, perfect. Okay, we'll pour our juice over into this large bowl. I'm going to use a food mill to process our juice. Uh, this will get rid of the seeds and the skins. Now, if you don't have a food mill, you can still use a sieve. That'll work. So you can see all of the seeds and the skins that uh, the food mill removed. Uh, this works good for tomato soup as well, this device. Okay, let's see how much juice we have. Just over a quart. That's actually about five cups. We'll add that back to our stock pot. A tablespoon of sugar. And a teaspoon of salt. Let's sprinkle in a little celery salt. Two or three dashes of hot pepper sauce and a couple of dashes of Worcestershire sauce. We'll bring that back to a boil. We should check it for flavor before it gets too warm. Oh wow, that's really nice. Okay, our juice is done. All we have to do now is uh, let it cool.